throughout my career, I've been a photojournalist, a celebrity photographer, a commercial photographer. I've directed a documentary feature film. I've directed commercials. I'm an author, and I've lectured around the world. I think it's very important if you're an artist and you either sell your work in the fine art world or you work commercially to have some sort of business sense. You, you need to be able to negotiate and understand business. With the advent of digital photography, people are always expecting more and more and more for less money. There's no film and processing costs. The barrier to entry is much lower with uh, the technology. People can take decent pictures, they can fix them in Photoshop, and clients get this expectation that it doesn't cost you anything and it's very easy to do. Well, we're really paid for our vision, we're paid for our eye, we're paid for our creativity. I think of myself as a creative director. I come in and try to rebrand the company, not just take pictures. And I think when you look at a visual artist that way, and not just a guy coming with a camera, I think that that's really important. I have three books. The first book is called The Art of Portrait Photography. It was a black and white book about 10 years ago that was my first lighting book. It set me out as a lighting expert and the book quickly sold out. That brought me to write another lighting book called Lighting in the Dramatic Portrait. That book was a best-selling book in the genre, uh, did really, really well, published by Random House. Um, and then we did a book, I did a book, a fine art book of portraits of people at the Adult Video Awards and Expo called Naked Ambition, an R-rated look at an X-rated industry. And that book was done in conjunction with a documentary film that's on iTunes. I'm a strong advocate for copyright. I believe in protecting one's work and one's image. I've shot for many, many years and I rely on the sale and resale of the images I've shot in the past. So I have lecture about copyright, I'm a proponent for it, uh, I help lobby in Washington for copyright uh, advocacy and change, and I think photographers should be conscious about protecting their rights uh, to the images they work really hard to make. For me, I didn't really know a lot about copyright until I was ripped off. And I was ripped off a couple of very major times. A picture of mine was replicated and used in magazines all around the country. And I had people calling me up saying, congratulations, what a great picture, you know, what a great sale. And I looked in the magazine and it wasn't my picture. Someone had ripped off the picture. And when the lawyer says, did you copyright register the picture? And you go, duh, what? What are you talking about? That's when you learn about copyright. That's when you get an understanding. So it was this practical experience that I had that educated me on the need for both the necessity for copyright registration and ultimately the need for copyright reform.